there's like five or six lines in parallel uh, there. Yeah. Go ahead, Bridge. Yeah, so if, the, if it gets uneven and sags, that's bad. Okay. Yeah. That's the most likely spot where if it bird cages, you'll get a big stringer coming off the wire. Yeah, mm -hmm. big hockle. Well, if it, like if one of the strands breaks and it hangs on the, the those plates on the left-hand side, you see there's plates between each wire? Yeah. If you get a strand that breaks off, it, it can catch on the plate, oh. and then it starts peeling it off the, the uh, cable, oh, you know? Yeah. And you end up with like, a, it looks like a big tumbleweed. I'm a bird nest. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. That's why the Jason ROV, they send someone down to watch the winch the whole way up and down. Ooh, that doesn't sound fun. They have, have a, a, oh. they have a similar, similar attraction yeah. winch on uh, for Jason? Uh, they have, like, other ships, the UNOL ships all have the traction winch set up okay. just like this. Yeah. I don't know what Jason has now. They used to have their own traction winch. I don't know what they have now. Mm -hmm. I think now they pretty much use the heave comp winch if they're if they're bringing a winch. Yeah. <coughs> but I know on Atlantis twice the there's a big huge shiv that's broken loose and flown across the, the winch room. <laughs> like a 900 pound shiv wheel. Makes you question if you under, actually want under to be Under wire there. tension, like to a yeah. like bow and arrow kind of thing. Jeez. I would not want to be down there when that no. happened. absolutely not. <laughs> oh, then, so on the big winch view, you see a camera stuck to that white plate. And what's that looking at? Stuck to the white plate. Yeah, like uh, uh, next to the big orange thing. Oh, uh, that is looking at our uh, controls for the winch itself. It's Bobby Argus cam. You may have heard the, the myth of Bobby Argus, the legend. Bobby Argus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to just... What? There were new camera angles up here. Or actually, maybe it was right when the screen uh, was programmed to have all these different camera angles. But with the close-up zooms of gauges, was it Trevor who was up here? I think it must have been Trevor. Looking at the different close-ups of gauges during a dive, and they saw someone walk in front of the gauges, and they thought those were gauges that were on Argus. <laughs> <laughs> while underwater and they got really freaked out <laughs> and they didn't realize they were shipboard cameras so that was how the legend of Bobby Argus was born <laughs> Bobby Argus going around to check the gauges underwater <laughs> I don't think we have an equivalent for Atalanta yet <laughs> 500 meters Roger thank you can we get the little winch cam up? Not winch. Yes, winch cam. Or is that just for recovery? Like at service. We're only 500. What do you want? What do you want to see? I just like to be able to see the little winch here. The little winch. Here. Little. The <laughs> little, little winch. winch. You know the <laughs> famous fairy tale. Oh, but then you can't watch <laughs> big winch. Little winch. <laughs> no. I can watch big winch there. Yeah. Now you screwed us all up. You wanted winch TV? Sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think Dan wants, wants us to have winch TV. Winch channel. We're at a five zero zero. <coughs> oh, see, normally that's okay. It is. Never mind. We can go back to Winch TV. No, you no, messed we're here. it up. What? We're here now. <laughs> we can't get back. We you can't, can't get back. Irreversible. <laughs> you got a whole row of salvos. <laughs> this is no. We it have zero rows. It doesn't salvos. give me this that. Is all we want. <laughs> see, I get back to this. Oh, I don't get no. <laughs> we'll never recover. <laughs> This is our life now. <laughs> we could ask Dave to rectify it or 
Yeah, he's got free time. I heard they don't <laughs> have anything, <laughs> they don't to, have do. anything to do over there. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you're trying to do now? <laughs> they want winch TV. They want uh, winch TV. the drum <laughs> on the winch big on every okay. screen. Dave, I have I large wrenches that. downstairs if you want yeah. something. I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Dave alone. He's busy. <laughs> no. Not busy right now. <laughs> Oh, we had an earthquake today? What? Um, that's one of the que okay, question from chat. Uh, did Nautilus uh, feel any effects of the earthquakes today? Uh, or have you guys ever felt an earthquake or encountered a tsunami during an expedition? Uh, what earthquakes? Right? Yeah, let's find out. I mean, generally speaking. That one? Yeah. We. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Options. <laughs> Uh, we would not feel earthquakes out here. Oh, right, right. Um, and in addition, we probably would not notice a tsunami. Uh, we could probably see it in the data after the fact, but a tsunami wave, when it gets into water this deep, is going to be very uh, long wavelength, right? So even if we were to, even if it was like kind of a, meter high that would take like you know probably like an hour to pass oh, by so you would okay. not uh you would not really notice it but i do there was a, a time when another vehicle was looking at a hydrothermal vent and an earthquake happened nearby the vet was covered with shrimp and all the shrimp felt it because they're on solid ground and they just like jumped off the vent all at once. Oh, and wow. And people were like, what in the world happened? And they learned later that it was an it earthquake. It was an earthquake. Oh, that's wow. interesting. That's cool. Yeah, I'm looking at the USGS. Uh, yeah, there was um, like three, along the lines of 2.5 to 3.3 earthquake magnitude on Big Island. Yeah, maybe it associated looks like with before, this new eruption. Yeah, yeah. Before the eruption. Well, that's good news for any of our colleagues on board who are going to the Big Island. They'll get to see some action up there. Mm -hmm. Grab a Mai Tai at the Volcano House Hotel Bar and watch the eruption. So our review, we're going to do uh, 0 0.3 knots streaming ahead and no no holding position, no changing thrust. Sounds awesome. OK, great. Back row's fine with that. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> back row. Deck van. Confirming for recovery, we'll uh, stream ahead at 0 0.3 knots with no uh, thrust or uh, speed changes unless you request it. Copy that, thanks. Oh, um, Chad is asking, so Adam, do you feel the urge to take a private jet over the erupted volcano? Yes, <laughs> I do. But as I, I mentioned earlier, I'd rather have a helicopter. Ah, OK. Captain on the bridge, check. I even settle for, you know, a few uh, drones, right? Like oh, you, now you can kind of cool. get that perspective, you know, with a small drone. Right. Oh, that would be amazing. 
Yeah, I've seen sure some of those videos going down into the into the crater. That's pretty cool. What? Yeah, and there's some, uh, you know, they're they're now like kind of ho they hover really well. They hold position well, and you can kind of look down and even track the velocity of the lava at different points in in channels and stuff. It's very right. cool. The USGS now has like a whole drone team, and wow. even folks from Woods Hole will f will kind of fly out to Hawaii for response missions and things like that. Huh. Fish. Oh, oh fish. Nice. fish. Fish, fish, fish. We're about 10 meters from where we saw the oxygen minimum zone on the way down. So keep your eyes peeled for low oxygen in the water. So <laughs> <laughs> I look like Adam. It's up to you <laughs> and your imagination. But generally speaking, there'll be two green lines shooting off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Did the previous watch see anything interesting? Yeah, apparently they saw, uh, you know, big corals bigger than... What? Than, uh, than Hercules? Yeah. Oh, what? Seriously? Yeah. They saw what? Big corals, bigger than the sub. Oh, shoot. No way. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. Two times, that's all. Halfway to the square door. So, I guess things improved at the top of that uh, feature. Yeah. <coughs> I actually saw some corals um, not long after we went off watch, mm -hmm. <sighs> I was just watching the screens in the mess. Yeah, yeah they, you could tell we were kind of getting in, into a little more something or other, but. Go ahead, Bridge. You good to start moving ahead? Uh, stand by, Bridge. Deck, deck, are you ready to start moving ahead at 0 0.3 knots? Yeah, we're ready. Copy that. Uh, bridge, let's uh, proceed, 0 0.3, thank you. For all of our folks tuning in, um, thanks for being here with us. A uh, shout out to our friends from all over the United States, UK, Canada, <coughs> Germany, uh, Norway, Italy, Romania, Portugal, Netherlands, France, Spain, and the Czech Republic. Buenos dias. Hey. Bon giorno. Buenos dias. Uh, ni hao ma. Dobri den. What was that one? Dobri Dan. Dobri Dan. Dobri Dan. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. 
so that as yeah, quiet as possible. <laughs> Yes, chat, we are currently ascending. We are at 260 meters. Ohio. Um, Ohio. Question, yeah. <laughs> are specimens ever sent to museums? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes chat. Um, I'm Jules. I work at the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard, and most of our biological samples are sent to the MCZ, where they are processed, they are added to the museum database, MCZ base, um, along with all associated metadata, images, um, and made available to the public and to outside researchers who are interested. What does processed at the museum mean? Because we do some process here. Yeah, so once we get specimens, we transfer them from their containers to the containers that we use at the museum, which are airtight. Um, we replace the ethanol. We assign catalog numbers, which is the museum's unique identifiers, which you can use to find specimens. Um, sometimes we'll image them and then we will put them on shelves in the appropriate place. Do you ever re-describe them or like check the description to see if it's... Yeah, yep. As we process things, we'll check identification and narrow it down if possible. Sometimes we'll have experts come in, um, like Steve Oskovich will come over to the MCZ sometimes and um, he'll be able to narrow down identifications. And who, what other groups send samples ahead, to MZ, MCZ, like? Sure thing. What other groups? Down. Yeah. Is it, uh, you know, Harvard labs or labs from all over or uh, certain chips or anything like that? Uh, we get samples from everywhere, <laughs> um, from, like, research vessels like the Nautilus to, like, private collectors oh, there are folks who have like collected shells over their <laughs> lifetime and sent them to us and there are cabinets with things like there's like a purse made of shells i think so really just a, a wide range of sources so what's the most interesting thing you've seen there most interesting thing okay um I have to think about this. I'm honestly not sure. I've seen a lot of really beautiful things. I work in the invertebrate department. Um, when I was working in collections, I worked with a lot of corals, which are so beautiful, even preserved. Um, The bird and mammal departments get a little freaky. <laughs> How about the uh, <laughs> coelacanth? Guess, you got a coelacanth? I know there's one in the what? Natural yeah. History Museum there. Um, yeah, I believe so. I can look it up right now. <laughs> and then on the flip side, um, chat is also asking how are geological specimens shared yeah so they are uh, go to a different archive one for geological samples the marine geological samples laboratory at university of rhode island and similar to what jules mentioned they are cataloged and imaged and you can search their database and make a request um you know by location or by rock type or by depth or anything like that. Right. And when is our next scheduled dive? I know we'll be mapping. Yeah, I think we have 
uh, estimated 24 hours of mapping. And so um, Thursday morning sometime. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I don't think the volcanic plume from Kilo Whale's eruption is visible from here, right? That would be pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, it would have to be that, right. uh, like stratosphere level plume. Um, yes, it seems there are several coelacanths. And it looks like they are all in our vertebrate paleontology department. Really? Because they're modern species. Or maybe they're, these are fossil coelacanths. Yeah. Yeah, coelacanths are... Been around a while, huh? Yep. Been around a long, long time. Have you seen my the sticker on my laptop? Nope. The rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, if you go down there, oh yeah, so that's a carboniferous coelacanth from a rock outcrop. Mm -hmm. Deck nav, 150 meters, and we're at 0 0.3 and knots. It, er, it was collected in 1883. Yep. Wow. In Scotland. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. I'm curious. Yeah, MCZ base is really amazing. You can find a lot of things there. There's some really cool things at that Harvard Museum. The mineral collection. Oh, is yeah. Amazing. I love the mineral collection. So beautiful. Have you seen the glass specimens? Yeah, the glass all the, the plants, oh, the glass plants. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> what was the, it was this father and son, right? Who created yeah. all those? Um, we had a couple on loan at Monterey Bay Aquarium of a vampire squid and another deep sea creature for our deep sea exhibit a few years ago. Not a deep sea, uh, it was an octopus exhibit or a cephalopod exhibit called Tentacles. So cool. There is a deep sea exhibit happening right now at Monterey Bay Aquarium, which is really cool. Nice. There are ocidocs, boneworms, there are uh, deep sea isopods, the giant isopods. Um, actually, there's a touch tank of those, which is incredibly creepy. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Or at least there wasn't an open. I don't know if they're still there. Um, there are... <coughs> Oh, spider crabs, the giant ones. Spider crabs, is that what they're called? The ones yeah. that are like three feet tall? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> they're <laughs> terrifying. What? Kids will stand in front of them and take photos. <laughs> they're like taller than the kids. Spider? Spider crabs. Yeah. There's sea spiders and then there's spider crabs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, have octopus. you heard of? Uh, oh, I've actually seen one have of those you heard in of collections. Ship spiders? They're <laughs> huge. I don't know. If they don't usually what? come out till no. I don't know third week of a cruise. Oh, terrified. That would be so <laughs> funny. And you won't even yeah. know no. because they look just like us. We're still waiting for the male buoy. Yeah. Oh, this one's missing. Oh, what is that? At a line to cam. There's. Oh. Come back. Oh, it's going by. <laughs> hey, we still have two Niskins. <coughs> All right. Oh. Well, if we see something amazing, we're going to have to do some fancy driving. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> You'll be slow down. Side swipe it. You'll be slow. It's okay. Go. Yeah, I was checking out on um, the water last night after our watch, and then there was these uh, bluish fishes. Ooh, mahi. Around the, um, it looks like they were hunting squid. It were, hmm. yeah, they're like blue, greenish. Oh, what kind of squid? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. It's <laughs> a good question. Small, big. It's about this size. Oh yeah. Okay.
Fish. No. Fish. Ooh. Swim, little man. Aww. Swim, little. Go to the port side. You can come with us. <laughs> <laughs> right into a niskin. <laughs> I'll we'll stop at five zero meters. Five zero. Deck nav, I'll stop five zero meters. Here come the deck spiders. <laughs> 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 we make them wear the orange vests to identify themselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I think that's the poisonous one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever go swimming from the boat during downtime? Oh. Yes. God, I wish. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> if we want to leave the earth early. Uh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It got dark really quick. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, it's possible. I know it has been done off of ships. Oh, not many, with our white tips. Many hanging ships around. Don't, uh, white tips are harmless. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat. We are at three six meters. For all of our folks tuning in, uh, thank you so much for sticking with us. On Nautilus, you have an entire team working together to make sure that each dive is safe and successful. So visit nautiluslive.org um, for our next update of when our next dive will be. Um, yeah, and don't forget, we posted our highlights as well from our previous dives. Our team will be posting more highlights and our photo albums in the days to come. So check that out. Thanks so much. Um, you folks have been awesome. Nautilus Bridge, Nautilus Deck. Mike, in your shark work, is it true that if you're a Roll cat, cut. you're supposed to like poke them yep, in the permission eye? Permission to recover oh, yeah. Atlanta and Herc. Ooh, or punch them in the like... Nice. Bye. I didn't uh, hear any of that. I have the radio chatter in my ear. Oh. In your work with sharks, is it true that you're supposed to like hit them in the eye or something if you're getting attacked? I can't imagine being able to have the presence of mind to do that. I mean, if uh, if you are being attacked, then I'd say the the best uh, solution is to fight back instead of just letting them have their way with you. Right. So, Interesting. Uh, okay. Their sensitive bits, though, are definitely eyes, gills, uh, snout. Uh, it's kind of where their their more vulnerable parts are. Uh, so. Thanks, Caleb. If it approaches you, I think you're supposedly, you need to Jack move winch. it downwards One, because meters. if you like push it upwards, if it's just going to open its mouth more as a reflex. So you want to go above it? Yeah. <coughs> totally not going to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be it there sounds like, like you're preparing up or down? Like, oh, right, Why does it sound stop. like you're preparing for something? Everyone just stop. I need to figure out my plan. <laughs> Funny thing is, is that when I started working with sharks and getting in the water with them was the advice was if they start approaching you, you actually swim at them mm. and show aggression oh. towards them. And uh, they're not used to having something come and kind of be aggressive. Granted, this all is dependent upon species of shark, but uh, swimming at like something like a bull shark is... is uh, something that I would be daunted by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Uh, I have been in the water with a number of different species from tiger sharks to reef sharks uh, to large and small. So There's a shark dive I've been on in Fiji twice now and they go out and place a 55 gallon drum of, of fish parts on the <laughs> bottom. And then as you arrive at the dive site, they're they're chumming the water, and there's white tips everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> and what? then they say, "Everybody in!" <laughs> oh my God! 
And he goes straight to the bottom and there's like a rock amphitheater and you kind of huddle in the rocks there and there's dive masters with aluminum poles to fend off the bull sharks. <laughs> and then the, the guy has a, a chain mail glove and he hand feeds tiger sharks, like a 14 foot tiger shark. And it's oh like a gosh. performance. These sharks, they've been doing it every day, 365 days a year for years now. And these, the sharks are like trained, you know? Wow. <laughs> Until That's they're not. Wild. Yeah. yeah. So they decide. So I had a bull shark brush my shoulder. He came up from behind me and he uh, brushed my shoulder. And the whoa. dive master was right next to me and he didn't see him coming. And, he, and I looked at him and he just kind of shrugged his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of white tips. There is something to be said about <laughs> shark guys that use uh, bait as a track. Well, they say in Fiji, the sharks are friendly. Oh, sure. <laughs> that's something shark said. In Fiji. Oh, that's interesting in Fiji. Not in American Samoa. <laughs> mm. okay. Is that Frank? Yeah, I think that's Frank. Mm -hmm. So the most dangerous thing on that dive actually is trevally, which are, <laughs> <laughs> if they see your fingers, they'll come get them. What? Yeah, so you, you gotta wear gloves, you gotta keep your, <laughs> your hands tucked together, like tucked in. <laughs> what is it that will get your fingers? Uh, trevally. What's that? The it's a very fast moving game fish. <laughs> Trav. Okay, I don't have to on the way up. But if anybody gets oh, to Fiji, I recommend doing that dive. It's, it's What's pretty it called? Tremendous. Is it called uh, Bad Idea Shark Trevally. Walk? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, Ron and Valerie Taylor, the shark. Uh, oh. Yeah, they. That's where they operated out of oh, it's Pacific yeah. Harbor. And they uh, look like they yeah. eat your fingers. Wait, where is this giant trevally located? So I don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> we come Ulua and Hawaii. Yeah, I think they're pretty common. Yeah. It's just when they're chum in the water like that, and then all the other fish are going crazy, the trevally get very excited. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, Atalanta on deck. Cut baskets are still there. So when the tiger shark shows up, the bull sharks take off. Wow. Oh. They don't. They don't like to hang around with the tiger shark. Would you want to be hanging around <laughs> with something that could, uh, that could? When that you? thing looks at you, boy, it's pretty intimidating. <laughs> it could totally like just take you all in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then it's doing Daisy Chain. I'll time this. Still haven't beat Drew's record from uh, Shakedown. No. He's got the record? Drew. Yeah. One minute, nine seconds. Sure. But what this was is the longer. length? This is a longer. I was going to say, what was the length of that Daisy Chain, though, for Drew? <coughs> 30 meter. They dropped, a, yeah. they dropped a weight somewhere? Who dropped a weight where? See, that's a weight release line. Oh, yeah. I was looking over Paula's shoulder as she was doom scrolling Trevally, and there was <laughs> a story about a guy whose finger was severed and then he used it as bait to catch another one. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Are 
Eight to twelve. Come for the laugh, stay for the horror. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos crew strikes again. <laughs> There's actually a, a very popular world famous surf site within about a quarter mile of that shark beating <laughs> bring it, bring like it shoals, idea. yeah. <laughs> I think we've uh You're not using, uh, oh, never mind. We'll leave it on for now. What you doing? Just checking things. Uh. USBL is not working anymore. I'm gonna switch the beacons off. Don't need to see high pack. Did you turn off the ground detector on Atlanta? I did, yeah. Uh, I'll turn that on. Okay. I'll leave the. Yeah. Turn that back on? Yeah. Okay. Did you get a goal? I didn't even look. Heck yeah. Square, <laughs> square between the goal posts. <laughs> oh, I forgot to time Lynette. Man. You gotta put it in the checklist. Looks like she's gone pretty slow. Oh, there's three Niskins open. like a rat? No, it just broke loose. Pretty yeah. good. Okay, Herc is secure to the grain, even in. Copy that.
ดมันPower secured. Deck van, power secure. That power secure. 